Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. I want you to picture the kind of the oldest hi-fi setup that you can think of. You know, kind of close your eyes and just think about it. Now, I bet it's probably got a treble and a bass dial on it. And the reason, of course, is right from the very beginning, we've always wanted to change and tweak the way the sound comes out of our speakers. And of course, the things today are very much the same. We are still tweaking and changing the way the sound comes out of the speakers. But when it comes to smartphone speakers, there's even more going on because you've got things like boosted amplifiers and DSPs that can really try to get the best out of those smartphone speakers. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. First of all, I'd like to thank Cirrus Logic for sponsoring this video. Now, as I said in my previous video about smartphone audio, inside of our smartphones, there is a built-in amplifier. In fact, it's a boosted amplifier that can deliver high levels of volume while maintaining distortion low, wide dynamic range, and of course, most importantly, with efficient battery. In fact, just throwing around a few numbers, there can be a 15 volt boost to the signal, which can result in a 6.8 boost in wattage per channel and this is all going on inside of your smartphone and on top of that that built-in amplifier is also used to power the earpiece which on some phones actually doubles up as a big speaker on some phones it's just a tiny earpiece but the point is it's right next to your ear when you're using it so you can hear everything that's coming through now the point about an amplifier is it amplifies so if there is noise in the circuit then as it gets amplified it's going to actually increase that noise so on the one hand you want lots of amplification you want boosting you want the extra watts to come out through at the same time you want low noise so that when you're actually in a phone conversation if no one's talking you don't get you can actually there's nothing there because the amplifier is doing this delicate balance of being able to provide that extra uplift in uh, loudness while actually keeping itself quiet and smooth now we all know that smartphone speakers are quite small small compared to what you have in a bluetooth a speaker small compared to what you have in your home hi-fi setup and of course small compared to what you have the speakers at a music concert however we're still expecting much from those speakers now one of the measurements about a speaker is its excursion how much actually the cone moves to generate the sound waves now if the dri speaker is driven too hard that can damage the cone and of course because of the, the dynamics of air being moved to create sound waves then you do have the thermal considerations as well so the built-in amplifier needs to be smart it needs to be smart to be able to protect the speaker and to keep it within the excursion limits and the thermal limits. Now to do that, it uses a DSP, a digital signal processor. Now this DSP monitors in real time the audio signal that's being produced by the amplifier and it is able to catch anything that would cause damage to the speaker and also able to keep a record of what's going on so it knows the kind of the thermal limits of the speaker and so it's basically built-in smart speaker protection now the great thing is once you have a dsp there inside of the amplifier then now that dsp can be used for other things as well for example if there are limitations to the speaker let's say at the high end or at the low end then the dsp can be used with special algorithms to compensate for those limits. And so therefore the speaker can actually produce better sound than it would do without the DSP because the clever algorithms are actually trying to smooth over the problems with the smallness of that speaker. Not only that, in fact, there's a whole area of audio called psychoacoustics. And this is to do with how the ear perceives sound. So of course we hear it, and there's the eardrum and it goes to your brain and your brain then interprets what it's hearing. Now, like we have optic illusions, you can actually have kind of audio illusions. And there are things to do with what's called the missing uh, phenomenon, to do with harmonics and so on. But basically you can trick the ear into thinking it's hearing something that's much louder, much more volume to it than there really is. And the DSP can actually be used with uh, psychoacoustics to actually produce a bigger sound even though it's actually a small speaker. So having the DSP there inside of the built-in amplifier helps not only boosting that signal to give you that loudness, it protects the speaker, it can actually then also pr process the signal to use things like uh, psychoacoustics so that we hear a better bass 
when actually there isn't really that bass that can be generated from such a small speaker. Now, if you think about it, you've got this kind of combination of the the boosted amplifier that's kind of giving you that extra power, that extra loudness. You've got the DSP, the software that's running on there to try to, to make the whole thing sound bigger than it really is. And of course, you've got the speaker itself. So these three things need to actually work in harmony with each other, which is why any smartphone manufacturer that's kind of serious about audio, in fact, even just pays any attention to audio really, has to use a tuning phase. Now the tuning phase is the human element. Rather than just relying on the algorithms, rather than just relying on the boost coming out of that amplifier, there are experts who know how to tune the DSP, the amplifier and the speaker to get the best sound quality out of that device. And really all OEMs should be doing tuning with experts to make sure they get the best sound. Now of course, you get what you pay for. So there are many cases I'm sure where an OEM is literally just taking an off the shelf speaker and they just putting it in there and they're throwing it together and, and they test it, oh the sound coming out great. We need more than that. We need to have audio that we're used to having in other areas. We need to have that in our smartphones and it's possible with uh, kind of amplifiers from companies like Sirius Logic with the DSP software, with the speaker protection, with the psychoacoustics, okay, and then the tuning, the human end of actually tuning that so you get the best sound out of it. So in summary, what do we have? We have that boosted amplifier that can provide that 15 volts, 6.8 watts kind of extra to give you that loudness. We've got the DSP, which is processing the signal in real time to protect the speaker and also to add psychoacoustics so that we hear bigger sounds that are really there. And then we have the tuning, which makes all the components work together so that you get the best sound out of the uh, smartphone. And that is what we need in smartphones all the time. Not some of the time, we need it all of the time. And companies like Sirius Logic do provide all of those things so that we can have the best audio in our smartphones. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Experience. I really do hope you enjoyed this look at boosted amplifiers and DSPs and speakers, just to give a bit more detail about really what is going on inside of our smartphones. Even when it's just the ringtone going, there's a lot of stuff going on there to produce that crystal clear sound. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, don't rely on the YouTube recommendation algorithm. It's better to subscribe and hit that notification icon, and then you'll know when I drop a new video. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.